important is a name when it comes to your long-term success and failure throughout life. Apparently important enough that some parents are now paying to get the perfect one. Some experts say a child's name can influence everything from career success to popularity. Some professionals are now charging a fee to help parents decide on more successful names. And the fee's not cheap either. There are some firms, I think in Sweden, they charge up to like $29,000 a baby. That's ridiculous. This is rated on data, not necessarily just on emotion. So they check to make sure that that name's not already trademarked, that it's not close to another trademark name, <laughs> that there's no aggravation past associated with <laughs> it. Yeah. You laugh, Esme, but you're just lucky that there's no evil Esmes in the history. Well, there right. probably are, you know. <laughs> I mean, I, I haven't seen all, all the uh, movies with the... Um Oh, the vampire movies, there's an Esme in there. Uh, I think she's not great. But no, I think it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. If you have to spend $29,000 to help you get a baby name, you don't deserve to be a parent. Oh. Period. I just don't know how hard it is <laughs> to name a child. I mean, it's hard. Apparently, it's really it is. Stressful. It is. It is. You know, but I can see how the, it can be stressful. I can see where the pressure is because there has been research that has been conducted and it's found that uh, the, w your name will impact the um, amount of response you get. If you're applying for a job, people will judge you on your name. If you have a flowery name, people won't take you seriously. So I can see for a parent, if you want to put your child out there, you know, with the best foot forward, it would be a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. But I don't know about paying that much money. I, I would. Well, pay that, that amount much, is but ridiculous. But what if you, would you pay? Would you pay 250 bucks to say like, hey, I'm thinking about this name, like, what do, you, how what well? is the data say? I would, I would, because I, I, I don't know how you two did it. I don't know how all parents did it. Great job, because that's so much pressure to put on a child. You are choosing kind of like their, their life with their name. Right. Well, you, I did buy a baby name book, and I think most parents okay. probably do. Yeah. And you look through it, and then I ended up naming my daughter after. Myself and it is. <laughs> her name is Esme, and it's, an, it's a longtime family name. But I did pay like I think twelve dollars for a book. Yeah, did you guys we get bought a book? book? Yeah, we I mean, bought I a book called the Baby book. Name Wizard, right? which we really liked, and it was fun to look through the names and. The, but it, you do think, like, if you pick a trendy name, mm -hmm. like, does this name sound like? Does this sound too trendy, or does this sound like? Does this sound too dumb, or does this sound too pretentious, or does this sound whatever? Like, we definitely thought about that stuff. I think, oh, well, well, I think it makes sense to have a name where you can have different adaptations of it, like a Margaret, or you could be a Maggie if oh, you want to, or you could be a Marge. My mom did not want <laughs> any nicknames with her kids. Yeah, we she picked Seth sure. partially because we thought, oh, Seth is Seth. Just There's Seth. nothing you can do with it. Right. And then as a parent, of course, you create nicknames for it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it just happens. Save your money. Just ask, yes. uh, just ask Esme. I mean, we no. have some naming experience. <laughs> Buy the book, yeah. Don't ask me. We'll do it for 25 though. bucks. Yeah. We'll help you out. <laughs>